Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print labels with Canva. First things first, we're going to create our labels. I'm not going to focusing too much into the content of the label because we're going to focus on how we can edit things in order to make printing easier. So I'm going to go ahead and search for labels here on the Canva search box. So I can go ahead and type in label. And it's going to depend on the size of the label that you want. We got ones that looks like this and there are ones that looks like this. So there's a bunch of label templates that you can use. Now let's say that I want to create one that looks like this, which you can use to create maybe a scented candles or maybe for cookies, labels, etc. I want to play with this one's right here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to show us the information about the size of our label. So this one is in the size of 6 by 4 inch. And if you feel like this is a little bit too big and you would like to make it smaller, don't worry, you can always resize it. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and click customize this template. Again, I'm not going to focus too much on the content of the label. We're just going to focusing on how to edit it to make printing easier. So I'm going to leave it as it is. But if you would like to resize your label, you can go ahead and click on resize and you can go ahead and click on custom size and now you can see that we are on 6 by 4 inch and let's say I want to make this slightly smaller maybe I want this to be let's say 4 by 2 I'm just going to go ahead and click 4 for the width and 2 for the height like so and then I'm going to go ahead and click on continue and it's going to show some things like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click resize this design. And I can just drag everything through here. I'm going to group them so that once I try to adjust it to my paper, I can just adjust it like so. All right, that looks nice. I got the text and everything adjusted. So this is going to be my label. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on share and then I'm going to download this as PNG and go ahead and click on download. Now I'm going to go back to my Canva home and we're going to create a new page or a new document and I'm just going to go ahead and click create a design. Now this is again going to depend on the type of paper that you are going to be using for your printing. Let's say I'm going to use A4 paper so I'm going to search for A4 paper so you got the size here it's 8.3 by 11 inches i'm going to go back to my home page right here click on custom size so it's 8.3 by 11.7 i think yeah okay and then i'm going to change this to inches all right and then i'm going to go ahead and click on create new design now what we're going to do is we're going to upload the labels that we've just created. So go ahead and head to the upload section, click on upload file and then go ahead and click on this labels that we've just created. Then you want to click on the label and you see now that we don't really know whether this is the exact size for our label or not. But if you would like to adjust it according to the label that we've just created, we just say four by two. We can just go ahead and drag this and a black box are going to pop up on the bottom right of your screen and you can just change it to four by two like so. Now we got the exact size of our label and if you zoom in closely you will see that we don't really have any signs that are going to indicate our bleed area in order to be able to see it we can go to file right here go to setting and then click on show print bleed now you can see that we got this line ready and it's going to show us the bleeding area and what this means is that if you put your 
design on top of the bleeding area you're going to get your design cropped so make sure you stay inside of the line now this is the original size of my label and now i'm just going to duplicate the label so you can do it by clicking this duplicate symbol or you can just ctrl c and ctrl v on your keyboard and there are several ways in which you can do in order to tidy up your design you can do it manually like so or you can also highlight everything and then this position is going to show and you can click tidy up to tidy things up or you can space evenly maybe horizontally or vertically and sometimes if you still have things overlapping like so it's not going to work so you have to adjust it a little bit like so and you can see I have the spacing not even so I'm going to go ahead and tidy up and it's going to tidy things up for me which makes things super super easier or you can just maybe highlight this too, click Ctrl C on it, click Ctrl V, and then you can duplicate two at a time instead of one at a time. Right, so I still got a little gap below here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the center just to make things look nicer. And this is also one of the things that I like about Canva when you're trying to adjust something that will give you this purple lines to help you adjusting stuff so that you know that your design is in the center and it looks nice so here we got the printable paper for our label and again what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on share and then click on download but we're going to choose pdf print as our file type and i'm going to use rgb then I'm going to go ahead and click on download. Wait until it's done downloading. We're going to open this label here. Then you can just go ahead and click on print. So you can just choose your printer here. And don't forget to change the paper size according to the one that you're going to be using. And you can just go ahead and click on print. And that's basically it. That is how you can use Canva for printing especially for label printing. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.